Prince Harry bared his chest at his latest polo match in California on Friday as a row bruise over he and Meghan's attendance at the Queen's Jubilee celebrations in London next month. The Duke of Sussex was changing his shirt on the sidelines and having sun cream or an ointment applied, before warming up for the match, held the same day as his son Archie's third birthday. At the game in Santa Barbara, California, the prince was helped with a wardrobe change, with attendees catching a glimpse of his chest as he switched clothing. After the picture was leaked, many social media users mocked Harry. At Toronto said, he has breasts. One replied, what's your cup size, Harriet? Maybe a 40B cup? Try the bra section at Big Girls R Us. At Dark Tokyo mocked, looks like he needs to start wearing a bra. Another slammed, he has somebody apply sunscreen, he couldn't have done that before he left the house like the rest of us. Seriously pathetic. One added, chest? That's a massive great pair of boobs. Why does he need sun Riemann if he's wearing a polo shirt? Later this year, the Duke of Sussex's intimate and heartfelt memoir is being published by Penguin Random House. Harry, 37, said he will share mistakes and lessons learned during his life and will reflect on the highs and lows. The Duke also said the contents of the book will be accurate and wholly truthful. Harry, who stepped back from royal duties in 2020 with his wife Meghan Markle, will donate proceeds to charity. In a statement, he said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. At the time of announcing the project, the BBC was told the Duke had spoken privately with members of his family about writing the book. However, a spokesperson added that he would not be expected to obtain permission for the project from Buckingham Palace. This has led to speculation that the book could see Harry make further seismic claims about his tenure as a royal. He and Meghan raised eyebrows when they made a series of bombshell claims during their Oprah Winfrey interview, which aired last year. The couple alleged there had been several conversations about the color of their son's skin while Meghan was pregnant with Archie. Harry also claimed Prince Charles and Prince William were trapped in the royal system. As Harry is due to share what he calls a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful, royal watchers have raised concerns that the monarchy could be in the firing line yet again. The publication of the book comes amid celebrations for the Queen, Harry's grandmother. Her Majesty is celebrating reigning for 70 years and she is the first British monarch to have reached this impressive milestone. As such, fans have speculated that the project's release date could be delayed so it doesn't coincide with celebrations. However, Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams claims that a postponement could be unlikely as he branded the Sussex as totally unpredictable. He told, Harry's memoir is another serious problem that the royal family faces, it is to be hoped it will be postponed but the Sussexes are totally unpredictable. It comes after Harry took part in an interview while in the Netherlands for the Invictus Games last month where he spoke candidly about a number of topics. Harry spoke about life away from the firm, and about his family with the Today's Show anchor Hoda Kotb. Harry also revealed details about a surprise face-to-face -face meeting he and his wife had with the Queen prior to arriving in The Hague. Harry reflected on his trip to Windsor by saying he and his grandmother shared a special relationship and talk about things that she can't talk about with anybody else. He described Her Majesty as being in great form. He then added, She's always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and got the right people around her. His statements were widely criticized as people questioned the meaning of Harry's words and from whom the monarch needed protection. The Duke also dodged answering when he was specifically asked if he missed his brother and father, Prince William and Prince Charles. Instead of answering directly, the Duke replied by saying he was focused on competitors at the Invictus Games.